Hey everyone, my name is Riley, and in this video, we will be taking a look at the best SEMrush alternative. Now, if you are looking for a SEMrush alternative, then the main reason for this is probably going to be the pricing because SEMrush is a fantastic tool. So the main thing that we are going to be looking at here is we want a tool that can do keyword research and tell us the analytics of a domain, but we definitely don't want to be paying over $100 per month for this. So the best alternative that I have found to SEMrush for a much cheaper price is Mangools. And if you use the top link in the description when you sign up to Mangools, it is this link right here, GeForce North slash recommends slash Mangools. You will be able to create a free account on Mangools and you can try this out for free. This free account is free forever. So it's not like a set limit, like a seven day or a 14 day free trial. You get it forever. However, you are very limited in the amount of daily searches that you can do. So once you have hit that limit, if you use Mangools, you continue to use it and you like it and you start hitting that daily limit on the free plan. These are the plans that you can get after this. So we have annual and monthly. And honestly, I have never seen a software in my life that offers this much of a discount for buying annually. Like it's it's literally crazy and Mangools definitely want you to sign up for annual. Like, look at this. The pricing difference from $44 per month to $26 per month is absolutely insane. But with this, this is what you get with each of these plants. So essentially with something like SEMrush, you usually get different features on each of the plants. So we can see with Pro, we just get the, the main basics of SEMrush. And then with Guru, we get things like the content marketing toolkit to help you post on social media, historical data, all of these different things. Like you actively unlock more features. However, with Mangles, it's not like this at all. You get the exact same features with each plan. The only difference is you can just do more of this. So just to show you, with the basic, we can do 100 keyword lookups per day. With premium, we can do 500 and then agency 1,200. The keyword suggestions that we get from each of these lookups, on basic, this is capped to 200 keyword suggestions per search. Whereas premium and agency, these are unlimited. This is honestly something that I really like about Mangools that I wish SEMrush offered. Because with SEMrush, I'm on the pro plan right here and I would like access to this content marketing toolkit. Like it would be very handy for my business. However, I can't justify spending an extra $110 per month to get access to that feature. Whereas on Mangles, as I said, everything stays the same. So you can start off on the free plan. Then when you hit the limit of that and you need more, then you can upgrade to basic. Then when you hit the limit of that, you can upgrade to premium. So I really like that. They don't lock certain features off. You upgrade when you actively need to upgrade because you hit the limit. But to actually go into Mangools right here, we essentially have five different tools that we can use. The first of which is going to be the most common and the biggest reason that people use this. And this is going to be for finding keywords. In this example, let's imagine that I have a farming blog and I want to find some keywords relating to farming that I could potentially create some blog articles around. So I'm going to go in here and set this to US. I want most of my traffic to come from US. And then the language, we will just go in here and set this to English. Then we can click on find keywords. And in here, it's going to show us a list of keywords. Now, because I am currently on the free plan, this is going to be limited to 25 keywords per result, but I can still go up and find some keywords right here. So we have like big farm, farm together, hey day. So we have the keyword right here. We can then see the trend of this keyword. So is this trending up? Are more people searching for this in recent months? Or is this going down? We can then see the monthly search volume for each of these keywords, the cost per click. So how much advertisers are spending on each of these keywords, then the level of competition for pay per click. If you are blogging, then just ignore this. This doesn't really matter. But then we can see the keyword difficulty. So this is very important. How hard is it to actually rank for this keyword on Google? So what we can do is we can click into each of these keywords and open up a more in-depth analysis of this. So we can see with this keyword right here, big farm, it's 39, so possible, but not the easiest to rank for. We can then see the monthly search volume. So this is trending down. I probably wouldn't use this. It looks like it's definitely dying off, but then we can see the SERP overview and how Google is actually going to look. So the first suggestion right here is big farm. This is obviously a game studio, but we can go down and see what else is going to show up on Google for this keyword right now. So that is keywords, but we can also search by domain. 
So if I was to go here and I search for like apple.com, imagine this is one of my competitors or even my website. I can go in here and I can see what keywords this website is ranking for. So apple.com is ranking number three for Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. And if I chose a better example here, like if this was actually a competitor, I could see what keywords they are ranking for well. And then this could give me some inspiration for creating blog articles around those same keywords. And I could try to get above them in the Google ranking. So that is the best alternative for SEMrush. Hopefully you got some value from this video. And if you did, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button.